Hi, Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're gonna to draw Wendy from Peter Pan. So let's get started. To draw a cute Wendy, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So you can come right here and draw a circle. Now the one in, let's come across and about right here, draw another circle. There. Now my circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes with two small circles inside for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom. And shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. Now with my eyes in, let's go and spruce them up. So on the sides right here, let's just add some lashes. So I'll just pop in two. And same thing here, curve and another one. And let's go above her eye, about right here. And we're just gonna draw a soft curve right over her eye for her brow. And same thing over here. There. And then let's give her a sweet smile. So in between her eyes, say about right here. Let's go ahead and draw a curve and cap it off. There. Then from there, let's go ahead and frame her face. So I'm going to come to the top of my eye, really close to the lashes. Say about right here. I'm going to give myself a point. And here. And I'm basically going to draw the bottom of a U. So let's go around the eyes. And let's find my center. So let's imagine how low you want her chin to be. So I'm going to come to my center and say about right here. I'll give myself a point. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and draw my curve towards this point. And I'll try to make it a little bit sharper. And then same thing over here. So definitely turn your body or the paper whatever you need to do to help you draw this curve. There. Okay, so now that her face is framed in, let's bring this up a tiny bit more into like where her brow is. And then we're going to draw her hair. So just kind of imagine an oval. So I'll say about, uh, about right here, right in the center. I'll just give myself a point to start. Then from there, we're going to work on this side. We're going to come down with a curve really close to her brow and curve in. Then we're going to go out with one big strand. And then whatever space you have here, let's go ahead and just finish it off with a curve. So same exact thing over here. So curve right over her brow and come up and then once again whatever space you have left just finish it off with a curve there and then for some details you can come in here another curve to break it up then from there let's go up so let's say about go straight up about right here just gonna draw a light line and then on this side, I'm going to go up and bring it down to about right here. Go up and then we're going to slant it down a little bit and come down. And then we're going to bring it all the way back in. So same thing over here. Go up and then just slant it a bit to give her head some shape. 
And then we're just going to bring it all the way back to here, just like the other side. So pop this out a tiny bit and bring it in there okay so then now that we're done with that let's go ahead and come back into the space and we're just imagine as if we're drawing an ear and we're just going to tuck it in so same thing here like you're drawing an ear and tuck it in on both sides and before i forget i'm going to come back up right here and just draw slight indication of her bow i know it doesn't really make sense because her bow is not that big that it would pop out but I just really feel like I really wanted to show that bow, so just spruce up her hair. So I'm just going to add it. <laughs> Why not, right? So if you want to add it, you can just add these little kind of like looks like ears or cat ears. And then let's see here. From there, let's finish the rest of her hair later. Let's work on her body. So let's come to the center. Give her a little neck. Right there, and I'm just gonna slope this down for her shoulders to about here. And same thing over here. And we're going to stop there before we round it off because she has these poofy sleeves. So I'm just gonna come about right here now that we're pretty even. I'm just gonna use this point and come down at an angle. There draw her chest area and because her dress is pretty high um, it's what do you call that the waistline is higher so we're gonna stop about right there and just go ahead and connect and I'm gonna come back in here and thicken this band up high-waisted right and then let's come back here and we're gonna connect these two points with another curve then from there, oh, it's so cute, right? I love her dress. And so the, from there, let's go ahead and bring this down. Just gonna give it a little poof right about here. And then I'll bring it down at an angle. Okay, let's keep going. So her dress is all the way down. So let's see how low we need to bring it. Just gonna go back and forth through there. So say about right here. Now I'll just flare it out a tiny bit. And now that we're about the same level, I'm gonna go ahead and just wobble my way across and connect there. And notice as I wobble, the center part is lowest as you come up, go across. Then from there, now that we're done with that, let's come back in here, give it a little some creases on the skirt part as well. And then let's see, and then her feet. So this is your center. So we just wanna have her feet on both sides, part showing part of it. So let's come about right here in here and we're just going to go ahead come down just curve in a little bit and out so just so if you're drawing her ankle and then this part is all of her foot her shoe connect and connect so same thing here just give it a little bit inwards and then right about here just imagine you're drawing her ankle and then the rest of it is her shoe and connect there so hopefully I helped you with that and then let's see now for her sleeves let's come back up here and we're gonna poof this up come down and so we'll end it about right here bring it in bring it in and connect and then a little cuff right here and add two little curves and then do the same thing on this side. So poof this out and just like the other side about right here and connect.
And then let's go ahead and forgot to add two little curves right there. Then for our hands, I'm just going to have them come to the sides and we're going to end them about right here. So uh, let's bring this down. Just going to try to make it a little bit simpler. So we're going to angle it out. So same thing here. We're just going to follow. And about right here, we're going to go for a thumb. And then flare this out and connect. And you can add a little finger right there as well if you want. So same thing over here. Very thin arms. Huh? So let's bring this down. So I just want to end about the same level. So just drag a point across to about right there. And same thing here. So about right here, come out and connect. And a little finger. Okay, so that is pretty much it for her dress. And then let's go ahead and finish her hair. So let's come back out here. And I'm just going to draw out angle line. And going to come about right here and curve, come down again and curve. So same thing here. So where ears are, come down, curve, down, and curve to finish it off. Then just go ahead, wherever you curved right here, just draw the angle and we're just going to put in maybe three more. So same thing here. There. Aww. <laughs> okay, so now that we're done with them, finally, um, let's add a heart right. Or should we give her a necklace? Or, hmm. You know what? Let's give her a necklace. I'm putting a little heart right here. And I'm going to connect it. Or you can just put a heart right here if you want to put a heart on her dress. But that is pretty much it for my drawing here of Wendy Darling from Peter Pan. I really hope you love how she turned out and that I helped you draw her fun and easy today. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.